Okay, guys, I'm going to do uh, one more video here. This will be the third one of the day. So the first one, we went over how to trade the 8 Simrenko here with the 5 Simrenko. So this is a setup right here. We caught the high, the swing high. Check this out. So we had the 8 Simrenko that was in a downtrend. Get the momentum chart off. The 8 Simrenko was in a downtrend. And the last video I just played was on a momentum setup. And the previous video that Gerald just uh, sent out to everybody is how we use the 8 Simrenko with the 5. Now after we played that video, not too long after that, about an hour later, we had a big 8 and 5 Sim confluence. So here's our 8 that we did a video on at 8 o'clock this morning, 8.30 this morning. We said watch for this setup. Watch when the 8 starts trending with red dots. There's your 8 Sim. This is our roadmap. This is the roadmap of the market and how the 5 sim will be our entry. There's your 5 sim. There's your 5 sim Renko. So what we want to do is once you get the 8 sim in a downtrend, we want to see red dots print on the 5 sim. And that's what we got. We got red dots that start printing and yellow dots, yellow dots into red. But we start trending in the same direction as the key because we're red on the 8. What you want to do is look for opposite color speed bar to look for a major reversal inside my zone. Look how accurate this zone was today on the S&P. It comes right up to my zone. There's your opposite color speed bar. Look at our oscillator down here. The magenta goes below 90%. That is a low of that bar of 53 and a quarter. And it got as low as 42.10 and a quarter. Now we're coming back up for another possible rollover. Here we got magenta, I mean, uh, opposite color speed bars are coming into resistance. We can watch how this is coming up. Opposite color speed bars, you can pull yourself in by letting the magenta go down through 90%. Or you can actually use an uni bar like I like to use. Uh, it's totally up to you how you want to do that. But you can tell when you get the 8 sim alignment with the 5 sim. That is total trend alignment. Marker profile over here, we had major resistance up here at the HVA. That's what rolled this market over. But if you look, what happened was, was the 8 sim started this whole, the roadmap started the whole movement to the downside because it started printing red ATR dots. Then our 5 sim confirmed by getting opposite color speed bars. Now we're getting opposite color speed bars again for a possible setup. And then we're looking for another setup as far as that goes to the downside on a continuation pattern because it's at the key ATR level. Now what we do have, we do have is we have our momentum chart that also called the move down. If you look at the momentum, momentum chart we like, we're now putting over here on our chart. And what that does is says this, it says that here we have our momentum turned all six red, all six red, one, two, three, four, five, six. We nicknamed this the moon trade because the, the moves are really, really, really uh, uh, like to go vertical after these six align. And what we like to do is it likes to come up and test a shallow retracement, but also the first speed bar that comes in a, is a possible major reversal. So now we have that. We have this chart over here. I, I did a video on that separately also, how to trade the momentum chart. And look at the trade we're in right now. Here's a trade we're in right now that is live. This is a live setup we're looking at as of right now. The momentum chart called this setup because I said on my separate video before this even happened, if we turn all six ATR red, one, two, three, four, five, six, you're going to look for the first shallow retracement that comes up to the shallow or look for the opposite color speed bar. Here's our first one for a major reversal. And there's your major reversal right there that's happening. Look at this S&P tank. Just how we did this video this morning at 8.30. I said that's how we trade the momentum chart. When all six turn red, look for the opposite color speed bars. And my algorithm called the swing again. So now the algorithm is now called the major swing up here on the S&P at that level and now it's called live on this video look at it tanking right here at this level 
and there it is. That's why I want to do this video. I called Gerald. I said, please do a video. We have a live trade coming up that will help these traders learn how to trade the system. Everything is in alignment. There it is before it rolled over. You saw it coming up. There's an oscillator going below 90%. There's your fill at 16 a quarter. It is now down to 10 and 3 quarters. So you're looking at a trade of over 6 S&P points on this live video. So that's how we like to do the alignment. We like to look for opposite color speed bars, the market's still tanking, into our zone. We'd love to do that, okay? So you can use the, you can use this algorithm to spot reversals in all futures, all stocks, all Forex, all currency, and whatever markets you can use it even when you have traders that trade, like I said, Bitcoin uh, futures all the way down to the euro, S and P, Nasdaq. You know, just depends whatever you guys are comfortable with. But if you look at the old setup, it's very simple. There's your red ATR dots. We want these green proprietary speed bars. These, this is my proprietary setup. You can't find this anywhere else in any other uh, platform. I designed the system myself. I put this together myself. And I, what I did is, I, what I look for is I look for volume spikes in the market to catch these counter trend traders or counter trend algorithms. We try to catch these swings. And what happens is you get these optic color speed bars against ATR trend. It's a major possible reversal. You look for the oscillator to confirm. And there's the entry, like I said. Now we're looking at, got as low as what, 10 so far. And um, so that was a nice, almost a seven S&P point play as far as that goes. But if you look at the workspaces that we have for you for your own charts, we have them set up just like this. And this is how you can set up your own charts, is that the best thing to do is look for the eight and five SIM to come together, to have alignment. That's what we have here. The eight started this whole trend. Red dots. We're only shorting. Get your mind right. Then use the 5 sim for small stops and entries. Opposite color speed bar, opposite color speed bar, and there you go. Okay? So what we are, uh, these workspaces are already preset for you. It's plug and play. It works on all markets. Please play the previous five, uh, three videos we did today to get your mind right on the system. And um, I'm going to put this over here. But this is how it's going to look in the room. I'm going to have my momentum chart saved right here. And then I'm going to have my 8 SIM Renko saved right here. And then we're going to have the 5 SIM saved right here. And then a market profile over here like this. So when you get these, you can adjust these charts the way you want. Some traders like putting a momentum chart by itself in its own monitor to catch these major swings of there and there. You can do that if you want. Or I, I leave it in the room tucked away right over at this level. Okay?